हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन मेड इजी द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज वीडियो इज द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग साइज रिडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ साइज रिडक्शन इक्विपमेंट्स इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव अपलोडेड अबाउट व्हाट इज यूनिट ऑपरेशन वट आर द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स ऑफ यूनिट ऑपरेशन एंड with special emphasis on size reduction its definition and the mechanisms by which size reduction can be achieved moreover its importance was also discussed in my last last lecture moving forward let's begin the topic the topics covered are uh, this in the previous slide today we shall discuss about the factors which affect size reduction first factor is nature of raw material this means the material that we are going to reduce in size how its nature affect the unit operation size reduction the very first factor is hardness its abrasiveness for example iodine and pumic their hardness and abrasiveness will affect the process of size reduction the same way some substances are fibrous in nature like glycrysia rhodolphia ginger so we should opt the unit operation cutting that means the mechanism for size reduction is cutting in these cases next is uh, one other category of materials which are uh, to be reduced in size are friable materials like sucrose which can be reduced in size with the help of impact or pressure as a mechanism the similar way the materials which are elastic in nature like gums waxes and resins they are chilled before undergoing size reduction in the case of hygroscopic materials hygroscopic means which those material which uh, absorb moisture from the atmosphere if exposed right so such kind of materials like potassium carbonate they have to undergo the size reduction process under closed system otherwise they would absorb the moisture from the atmosphere so we have to avoid it by taking a closed system for size reduction next is solvated materials like which have uh, water of crystallization in their native state like sodium sulfate so clogging take place in them thus uh, their softening temperature melting point should be considered and they have to be chilled before undergoing size reduction so this is the first factor that is the nature of raw material whether it is hard it is fibrous friable elastic hygroscopic solvated all these variety of raw material have to be subjected for size reduction on the basis of their nature next thing is thermolability like vitamins and antibiotics they are thermolabile that means heat may degrade them so they may undergo degradation uh, by hydrolysis or oxidation process so you have to proceed faster owing to uh, the heat produced because otherwise what would happen that heat if it is not done in a faster mode the heat which is getting produced may affect the stability of that particular product so we have to undergo a fast process and it should be done in the closed system the next factor is flammability the materials which are flammable that means they catches fire easily uh, like fine dust of textile starch sulfur so we have to avoid electric switches uh, in the neighborhood because electric uh, switches should be explosion proof if present and they should be properly earthened in the size reduction of such substances another factor is a particle size uh, because in some of the cases like fibrous material like glycrysia glabra we have to undergo uh, we have to treat it first uh, like cutting we have to undergo so as to further reduce its size uh, rather than undergoing the size reduction at one pace uh, we have to show pre treatments 
so as a preliminary raw material we shall obtain for further size reduction next thing is the moisture content so uh, in this there are two different techniques one is wet grinding other one is dry grinding if the moisture content in the raw material is more than 50% then we have to subject it to wet grinding whereas if the moisture content in that material is less than 5% that means it is obviously a bit dry so we have to undergo the process dry grinding for them so this was all about the nature of material and how it affects and how we choose a particular process based on the nature of raw material and what are the precautions to be taken care of the next factor is uh, which are related to the nature of finished product what exactly we need at the end of size production size reduction right like particle size what exactly is the size required if we deal with griseofulvin procaine penicillin g uh, it is very well known that uh, this griseofulvin drug if pulverized to its hard is half size shows double viability so we have to take care of how much particle size we have to achieve second thing is the ease of sterilization sterilization is important especially in case of parenterals and ophthalmics because uh, as discussed in my previous video they show the size will affect the overall effectiveness of that product the size if not reduced to uh, to very small in or in micro range either it may block the blood capillaries in case of injections and in case of ophthalmics that may um, occlude your uh, ophthalmic capillaries right so uh, the ease of sterilization should be taken care of for these purposes ball mill and fluid energy mill are used so that sterilization can be maintained for uh, such products which are to be utilized in parenterals or in ophthalmics as end products next sub factor is contamination of milled material uh, see we should have to take care of uh, the contamination and its purity if we are dealing with potent drug potent drug means whose therapeutic value is very much uh, lesser or close to 2 that means if we increase or decrease slight amount of dose of that particular drug it may lead to serious consequences that means the the therapeutically effective range will suddenly fall in therapeutic not therapeutic in toxic ranges if a slight increase in the dose of that particular drug is done so we have to take care of such drugs in a different manner that means we should avoid the contamination of them next is colloidal dispersions suspensions emulsions and ointments in these cases because their moisture content is more than 50 percent so in these cases we should prefer wet grinding right and we should eliminate dust hazard also right so all these factors are related to what exactly we want at the end like in the griseofulvin and pro uh, procaine penicillin g we need very fine particle size uh, uh, as an end product we need a sterile product so in those cases we need ball mill and fluid energy mill if our end product is a very potent drug then we should avoid the contamination of milled material if the end product we have to get is colloidal dispersion suspension and emulsion or an ointment that we should undergo we should subject that particular material for wet grinding and this wet grinding will obviously eliminate the dust hazards next factor is related to safety right so uh, what exactly is the nature of the material which is to be reduced in size whether it is explosive or not whether it is irritable or not whether it is toxic or not so in these all circumstances where such issues are related to the safety of the uh, material is concerned then we have to isolate that mill uh, where the size reduction is being carried out and we should use non-sparking material like stainless steel rather than using steel 
so these factors should also be taken care of and the very important factor is relative to the economy i mean uh, what exactly is your budget if you are running a pharmaceutical industry at small scale or a comparatively larger scale what is your budget how much cost you can invest in how much power is getting consumed how much space your uh, that machinery that equipment or your whole plant is occupying and what is the overall cost included in as labor cost right so all these factors all together will ultimately affect your budget or uh, the economy so uh, this factor of economy should also be taken into consideration a bit detail about uh, the factor which we come across in pharmaceuticals most often is hardness so it's a surface property don't get confuse it with strength thus it is possible for a material to be very hard but if it is brittle and also the size reduction may present no special problem so uh, how to get differentiate or how to decide whether a material is uh, hard or soft so an arbitrary scale has been devised which is known as mo scale if the value of that particular material on mo scale is equal to 1 for example that for graphite then we can say its hardness is equivalent to 1 if it is less than 3 we consider it as a soft material if it is more than 7 then we consider that material to be harder one and a comparative mo scale value for diamond in case of diamond the value is 10 see graphite and diamond right both are allotropes of carbon right so uh, one allotrope is having the value 1 in the mo scale and falling in the region of soft material other material diamond having the value of 10 is falling in the category of hard material whose value is above 7 right uh, now if we are concentrating on reduction in the size of the material the harder the material more difficult it is to get reduced in size next property is toughness so toughness is a material is sometimes more important than its hardness sometimes a material which is soft but tough that may create more problems in size reduction whereas a hard but brittle material because uh, this brittle material can be easily reduced in size with impact but which is not at all possible in the case of comparatively tough material the fibrous material we should take into consideration the moisture content otherwise they will not at all be reduced in size next property is abrasiveness that means its harshness or you can say scratchiness how much it can be scratched out it is a property of hard material particularly those of the mineral origin this uh, abrasiveness may limit the type of machinery very abrasive substance may be con- may contaminate the final product with more than 0.1% of metal worn from the grinding mill because it is having abrasiveness means it can scratch out right another important property which is to be considered is stickiness a material may adhere to the grinding surfaces the meshes of the screen may get chopped because of this stickiness problem if material used for the size reduction produces heat then that substance which is gummy or resinous may become troublesome to the size reduction process right sometimes addition of an inert substance may be the assistance of such kaolin uh maybe uh, an assistance such as kaolin to sulfur so such type of additions may sort out the problem of stickiness to some extent so this should also be uh, taken into consideration while reducing uh, the size of sticky materials another factor is slipperiness how much the material is slippery that means that means it is just opposite to stickiness how much it is not getting uh, immediately contact with the coming in contact with that impacting surface or the surface which is to which it is getting crushed within and reduced in size the material act as lubricant and lowers the efficiency of the grinding surface because it gets slip out of it this also give rise to size reduction difficulties right next thing is uh, softening temperature 
the heat generated during grinding may cause some substances to get softened for example waxy substances such as stearic acid or drug containing oils or fats are good example that may be affected so by overcoming the cold uh, or by cooling the mill either by a water jacket or by passing a stream of air through the equipment will reduce its size and overall increase uh, will get uh, that material will uh, not get melted because of decrease in temperature right so the problem which was arising due to the heat generation during grinding can be avoided and the material will not get melted and soften the next thing is uh, material structure some substances are homogeneous in character uh, mineral substances may have lineness of weakness along with the material which splits to form flake like particles so vegetable drug have a cellular structure often leading to long fibrous particles so uh, how much that material is structured that should also be taken into consideration a uh, very very important factor especially in the case of pharmaceuticals is the moisture content because it ultimately affects the hardness toughness and stickiness which all together will decide what what mechanism to be opted which machinery to be opted for size reduction and which technique also because we have already studied with if the moisture content is less than 5 then it has to be subjected for dry grinding and if it is more than 50% then we can subject it to wet grinding right so uh, the next one is uh, the classification of mills on the basis of mode of size reduction right so we have these options like crushers the example is edge runner mill grinders which work on the principle of impact rolling compression attrition tumbling mills a uh, hammer mill basically works on the process or the mechanism of impact roller mill uh, on rolling compression attrition mill by the mechanism of attrition and ball mill on tumbling mills right so uh, these all mechanism like impact compression attrition combination of impact and attrition all this we have uh, covered in a, my previous video so uh, this another mechanism is ultra fine grinders fluid energy mill uses this mechanism and the last one is a cutting machines cutting mill is based on this phenomena so this we have already covered uh, in my previous video the cutting method compression impact attrition combination of impact and attrition the common examples of each and every mechanism and the approximate size range which can be achieved using these mechanisms in my next video shall discuss about ball mill its basic principle construction working advantages and disadvantages of the ball mill i hope you will like this video do click on the bell button so that you can get the notification bar subscribe my channel and share it if you like it thank you very much